Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Hanging out here on the Citadel server once again. My name is Joel Duggan and this is a seven year old, nearly seven year old server. And we're hanging out in front of West Hill, which is a three and a half year old medieval town that we are slowly but surely working on finishing. And we've been working in this area out front here, uh, making different farms and things. And one of the things I'd like to do today is sort out how this little farmhouse is going to work. And I think we're probably going to need to move this little pond. But uh, we had a couple of ideas yesterday. No, Thursday. Thursday. We had a couple of ideas on Thursday. We changed the wall. We extended the wall a little bit so it makes a little bit more sense. I think we'll probably bring the dirt path up here. And then we'll also uh, figure out where we might be able to add in a different entrance on this side. And see what we can come up with. But it's going to be a pumpkin patch, I think. Mostly. We'll add in different things, but... That's mostly what we're going to be doing. Cosmic Dancer, 70 months in a row at Tier 1. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Cosmic. 70 months. Wow. So, I guess one of the things I wanted to look at, uh, something that I really did like, was this Pinterest page. Uh, that is not the Pinterest page. Hold on. It was this one. Uh, I like this a lot. I'm not going to copy it, but I like the palette. I like the jungle wood and the granite. I think it'll complement the pumpkins really well. I also like the use of uh, composters, and I like the light. We may not go diorite. We might go something a little bit lighter, uh, like calcite or something. But I like the diorite or the clay at, combined with like the dark, the dark oak. I think that's going to look really cool. So we'll make our sh the shape our own. But I, I like this palette. I think that's an interesting interesting look. Also just realized that there's a mushroom in a flower pot on the top of that. I'm not sure what that's supposed to look like, but more for shape, I guess, than color. But I do like that. Even though this is probably a custom texture pack, I still think that that's a decent color palette to go with. So... Uh, Cosmic, can you clean your pension now, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that in my head. That's the pension, the pension months of subscription. I don't know if we're keeping this other little wall here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this into the ground. I can guess I can get rid of shaders. So we'll keep keep it where it is, but I'm just going to put it in the ground so it's not kind of interfering with my view. Oh, that one's already there. Nice. Okay, cool. So we may keep that. I'm not sure. And I think what I want to do is potentially move the pond to be over here. I don't know. I kind of like, sort of like where it is. It would make more sense if we had a pond that could drain out into the river though. So maybe we'll put it like right there. Don't know how big this is going to be. I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. That's not bad.
A little square, maybe. Maybe if we brought this in a little bit. Try to make it shaped a little bit more like a kidney bean, maybe. That's a little bit nicer. So I'll move, I guess, some of the water. Cosmic Dancer, on top of being a top supporter, I really appreciate the mod help. Thanks for being awesome. Some people, some people just don't know when to stop. Not you. The person who you took care of. Sleeping with the Minecraft fishies. So I'll just quickly lay this out. I think I would make the pond another block deeper if I was going to do it this way. quick and then we can just fill this in you're quite right I don't know when to stop <laughs> well I think not knowing when to stop when it comes to dealing with trolls and chat is just fine by me. All right, so that would open up this to be a little bit more of a front entry. I feel like we can maybe do, I feel like it's probably better to have the path come over here somewhere. We can also change the way that this is all set up too. But I like this here. I feel like this might be where we do the way up. So not here. Yeah, I think that's a little bit more interesting. And then this doesn't have to bend all the way over there. This could actually go a little bit straighter towards the front door. And before we get carried away with that, I think we need to decide kind of like where the door is going to be on the farm. I did not look up anything as far as pumpkin farms go, so I've not really thought much about how I'm going to do this. One, two, three, four, five.
So this could be a pumpkin patch here. And then maybe we'll have some sort of path. Goes around like that, maybe. Mosasork, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Glad that you like the uh, sponge chunks. That's awesome. Thanks for listening. Uh, yeah, we've updated the uh, tables and chairs out of back to whatever the latest version is. It doesn't work the best, but it works well enough. I'm just not investing all the time in um, in changing it again. We've already laid down so many tables and chairs from that data pack that it's just, it's become a real pain. So we're kind of stuck with using it, unfortunately. Uh, Mind Trip Media, 100 bits. No, I did not get it, Cosmic. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sorry, I missed that. Poodle Pirate raiding with a party of 14. Welcome in. <laughs> Who let the dogs out, says CJ Bot. It's a poodle raid. That's awesome. Welcome in. What were you doing on stream today? Up to day 75, I guess, in a Minecraft world, it sounds like. Very cool. Well, welcome in, everyone. If you don't know who I am, I co-host the Spawn Chunks with Pixel Riffs. My name is Joel, as it says on the channel. And I also stream here on Twitch, obviously. And we are working on the very early stages of a pumpkin farm just outside of this large medieval town that we've been building the last few years. Cool. Thanks, Poodle Pirate. Appreciate the lurks. So I think this would be a really cool, um, cool path. See, over here, the house was kind of in the way. But here, you'd be able to look at the house. But then you'd also be able to look at the bridge as you're walking down this path. So I like I like that view better. So that's why I moved the path over here. We should probably move the pigs too. Uh, where can we put you guys? Let's put you guys over here somewhere. Okay. Let's just get you completely out of the whole, the whole range. Leave you there. So one of my things I like to do is just rough out the idea of how things are going to look. So you can see how we'll have some paths around the house. Maybe a little bit we'll go up to the, the pond. I don't know what would go here. I don't know if this would be pumpkins. I guess it would be. Yeah, okay. So I don't exactly know how we're going to do the pumpkins. 
I feel like if I was going to do the rows of pumpkins, I'd have to know like how pumpkins grow. Because they'll grow like left or right as long as there's an open spot, right? So you'd probably want to plant them down the middle, but then force them to grow in one direction. So let's just do a test here. Let's do something like this. Not too much of an angle. It should be okay. So if I plant the pumpkin seeds here, but I'll want to put something here, I guess. So that they grow that way, I guess. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I can do the same thing over here too. We'll see how that turns out. It could be okay. It could not be enough room. We'll have to see. Uh, but essentially what I would like to do, because I can do this with actual pumpkins, we can fake it without the without the stuff. So there, there'd be another plant there. So then the pumpkins would be here. Oh, I guess we don't want to put them all together, right? That's the other thing. We don't want pumpkins to be like lined up like a solid line like that. That won't look good at all. So that might not work. So we'll do this and then that. And then That's going to feel really tight, I think. Yeah, that's too, too narrow, so we'll just bump everything over. So we might have paths on this farm that are double wide just because of how big the pumpkins are. Yeah, that feels better. I think that'll look okay. I think that looks like a pumpkin patch. Bebop, hello, welcome in. Thanks for coming in. And thanks again to um, to Poodle Pirate for the raid. That's really nice of you. Um, if you come in with that Poodle raid, if you wouldn't mind flipping over and watching on twitch.tv slash Joel Duggan, that does help us grow the channel. It costs you nothing, but it uh, grows the viewership. What's the metric for deciding what the town is done? Uh, when everything inside the town is finished. I've been kind of holding off on a few details. Um, I was waiting for some data packs to update, but I've just been in a farm mood and I want, I want the view from up here on the wall to have at least some level of completion. So like, I don't really mind if that third farm in the distance is not done, but I really, I really do want this section here to be finished because I want to do the textures on the roads in this area here so so really it's just this and then maybe like that area right there and then after that I, i'm probably i'll probably focus back inside the town yeah i think that looks better so i'll have to bump these back That's weird. It makes a pumpkin noise.
Oh, I did those in the wrong, the wrong way, didn't I? Hmm. Not sure how that's going to turn out. We'll have to wait and see. Probably going to be a lot of bone meal to get this to look right. Wandering trader. Nothing that I really care about right now. Prismarine is cool. Oh, that's really neat. Cherry leaves. All right, I guess we'll get some. At least my inventory is pretty light. It's not a lot of work. Dad from Bear, good to see you. So grab that. Have some emeralds. So I know at least cherry blossoms, right? Or cherry leaves. So lapis, dark oak log, cherry leaves, calcite, brain coral. Prismarine. And we'll get some andesite. Acacia planks. And probably some beehives. Beehives, acacia planks, andesite. Prismarine, brain coral, calcite. Cherry leaves, oak logs. Lapis. I know my cherry leaves are in here. Yeah, the, the petrified oak slabs on the server are uh, coarse dirt slabs. Cherry leaves. For that. Lapis. I think my lapis is probably in the other chest. That's fine. Prismarine. Dark oak logs, acacia planks, calcite is here, no, and Beehives, andesite. I don't have any beehives. Well then. I think it's just three of each, right? And six of these. And there was coral too. Brain coral. I also think there was deep slate coal. I might as well get that too, just for fun. 
Oh, I don't have any. Wow. All right, then. I guess I won't. That'll do. I'm sure I will find a use for these at some point in the future. Did I get the leads? Because there's a couple of cows over there. I'm going to grab two. So I stop walking on the farm while I'm building. I think a data pack that allows you to dismiss the Wandering Trader would be a really good addition. Is it me or am I upside down in my little window? That's weird. That's all stored. Oh, there is a mod for that, is there? That's cool, Grandpa Crafter. Flux, thanks for the tip. I think we got everything. All right, so I'm actually thinking I want to switch and do, do the house. I feel like this path is going to be a little bit wider. I'm not so sure about the curve there. I think it might be better to have this go a little bit longer here. And then just single. Like that, maybe. Feels pretty good. Do I have coarse dirt on me? I don't.
So this should help smooth this out a little bit. Alright, I think. Now, whether or not that would be stone or dirt, I don't know. We can work that out later. And that would be a nice little entrance, I think. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Not really sure what's going to happen there, so I'll just kind of feather it off into this side. That's not looking the best. Maybe we'll take this away. That's not terrible. But I feel like this would probably continue right up this way. Yeah, I don't know whether, I'm not sure what's going to happen there. I do like the idea of this wall. I wonder if we should put that here. Maybe that could just go this way. Yeah. That way, if there's any pumpkins up here, they'll be visible. So when you're walking around the road down here, which is like a full two blocks lower, they'll, you'll still be able to see them. Yeah, so maybe we'll do the same thing over here.
I think that actually looks pretty cool. It would be kind of cool to have like a, a wall that kind of used to be there, but has been removed or repurposed or something. I don't think I like this little dip. I think I prefer to have this be all the same level. I might change my mind, but it's easy to dig this out if I need to. I certainly have the blocks to fill it in. That's not a problem. Yeah, I think I like the feel of that. Yeah, it's I like leaning into stuff like that, Cosmic. I think it's cool when you can um, lean into what the world gives you. You know, like that pond was naturally here. I've I've moved it, you know, but the inspiration for it was definitely because there was a pond here to start with. That also, this pond here was also there when I started. Uh, so was that one. I've tried to keep as much of this kind of stuff as I could, right? All right, um, I think I need to switch gears a little bit. I'm pretty happy with the pathing. So I wanna change it up and try to figure out what the house is gonna be like. And that means we need to go get some more blocks. Keep some of these. scaffolding thing is going to be a house. That's what I do when I want to rough out a shape. Scaffolding makes it easy to lay out a roof. So we're going to need jungle. We're going to need granite. We're going to need composters. I'll use diorite for now. I might change my mind. Clay. Should probably bring all the woods. I don't think mangrove will work. Hmm. Bring them anyway. And there's nothing down here. Maybe we'll bring some calcite too. This is where things start to get out of hand, right? All right, I think that should be okay for now. I also feel like I'm a little bit far away with my setup. I think I might want to move my setup a little bit closer to the whole build. So I think I'm going to move everything up here. a little bit closer.
grass, dirt, moss, coarse dirt. And then we've got clay. Nope, that's the wrong one. And to cut stone, and then we've got diorite, calcite, toolbox can go over here, and then we've got all the woods. Sweet. I find doing the layout the same whenever you move around it helps keep things straight in your head. And there was a little bit of clay in there too. So I don't have to keep this size and shape exactly. I do want the front door to face the town. That's the only thing I, I do know. Uh, I want some dark oak, actually. Wait for night. Hello, welcome in. So we've been looking at this as like some palette inspiration and just to kind of rough it out. So the door is definitely on just the one side and that could actually work to our advantage. And I might want to actually take the roof. I want this to look a little bit less fancy. So one of the ways to do that, I think is to uh, change how the um the walls overlap so if that's going to go up to there then we could have the roof be in like here It's a lot of white. Maybe we don't want that. How high off the ground was the roof over here? Because I don't want this to be a massive build either. So it came down. It's only, it's on the third block. Okay. All right, that's right. I have it in the right spot. I really don't like scaffolding. It's like a necessary evil. Uh.
I think with the right balance, I think that could look pretty good. And like I said, maybe we'll put the front door out here. I guess I should also think about it from the inside out as well. So if we have the front door here. Oh, we're working on a pumpkin farm way for night. This area right here. I'm just sort of roughing out the house. Yeah, you know what? If we put the door here, then that means we could change this to like here. And then this could change. Where's that image again? Oops. This is like a rough idea. I'd probably want to change the depth on that maybe. Do we have any pumpkins growing yet? No. Maybe this end is going to be all dark. Can't say I like that. We can maybe use some trapdoors or something to get that to come out. So that does not create the right kind of shift for me. I don't think I want the whole thing to be out here. Because then this would shift out here. G Town Steve, subscribe with Prime. Thanks very much for the support. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts and you can join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So what I'm trying to decide here is whether I want the second half of this house to come forward or whether I want it to be pushed back. I think forward may be more interesting. Because my guess is that this would be probably like the kitchen area. So we would maybe put a chimney back here. Which 
would make sense. This little plot. Makes sense there. Uh, back door. I guess there. But then how do I do the bedrooms, right? I guess they would be here. So kitchen. Maybe a table. And then here, I guess the bedrooms would have to be sectioned off. So we'd probably move this. Break time, says Cosmic. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think we need to move this over here. And that way, it'll line up with where we want the wall. That makes sense. And then this can actually be over here. Or maybe even right up against the, I should maybe make it a different color. We'll use scaffolding for now. So I found over the last few builds that I really find it advantageous to do a rough layout of the outside, start working on a palette, but then also bounce back and forth between being inside and outside. And I find that that ends up being um, a lot more useful That's going to be more like kitchen area there. So this would be, I guess, more stove like. So like fireplace or stove would be there. Just feels like a lot of empty space, right? It feels very open. Doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know what you would store here. I guess you'd have to have some sort of storage here. Maybe. Very small bedroom. But we could push it. We could push the wall out a bit here. But I mean, I don't want any, any less room there. That wouldn't make any sense. We could probably knock this back to Yeah, that gives a little bit more depth. All right. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. I need to stick to those breaks. If you're new to the channel, uh, if you came in with that raid, or if you're just stopping by for the first time, I do take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to grab another glass of water, stretch, all that kind of stuff. You should too. Give yourself a little computer break, maybe even tell a friend that we're streaming, and I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
that provides a, a nice thing to look at over there. And I just realized that when we go along this path, we're looking right at that house. That's cool. Thank you, Cosmic. All right, I think I'm gonna hit those with bone meal just so I can see what they're gonna do. Although I don't think I have the bone meal out here with me. So maybe I'll do that later. All right, I need to rough out the top of this. We'll use granite for now. Stairs. So that's the middle, goes there. Oops. So what we'll do is we'll put in the roof line. And I think it shifts maybe there. So we'll see what that looks like afterwards. Mdog95 resubbed 33 months. Welcome in. Good to see you. Thanks very much. Mr. Dangly Legs. Uh, house is coming along well, I think. It feels a little bit low. I kind of want to have one section be a little bit higher than the other. We're using a rough inspiration from Pinterest. I'm not copying it, but I'm trying to... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's five blocks. And I've only got four. Three. I wonder if it would be cool if we added like a slope to the top. This would go here. Like that. Hmm. Janoy, hello, hello. QB good, good to see you. Yeah, it needs some height difference, I think. Yeah, it's a little boring. I guess the taller part would be the part on the back. Like the diorite part would be the higher part. Let's try that.
So then this would come down from there. It's more of a unique shape, I think. Keep on using the, um, the rockets when I can just use my camera. Yeah, I think this will work out better. Of course, the question is, how do we get it to line up with everything? And let's see. Whoops. So this would be blocks. But then this would switch. And that wouldn't line up right. Right. Janeway subscribed to tier one. Thanks very much. That's amazing. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch because you can join the Joel Duggan Discord now. That B is really up there. Getting a good view. So I like the shape better on this other end, but I think I really need to work on how it connects. Because if this is going to stick out like that, then I think we have to do something about how it how it connects back here. First thing I should do is get rid of all these hay bells. I have I have a hoe on me. Still feels like a weird waste of space. Maybe not that low. And then the bedroom here, where's the middle of the house? Here. Except for it. I've decided to take it out there for some reason. So that's why it looks funny, because I've moved it back. 
back here. Oh, two steps. That's why. Okay. I see what I've done. So if this is a bedroom, then I guess the bed would be sort of like here. Could have like a table or something here. That's not too small. That's all right. I was thinking about some sort of pantry or something there. This could be interesting. I feel like this could work out okay. Put like the hearth there maybe. Do like the back door. So then really it's just about finding the spot for this. And I think this is going to be in like that. Definitely tricky when you're doing this kind of stuff off the cuff. But it's part of the process that I like. I do like a good problem to solve. Well, that was pointless. I feel like that looks all right. Oh, that's too tall. Whoops. Oh, wait a minute. How did I do the other one? One, two, three. What's that top? It's kind of a cool dynamic. So this presents a bit of an issue where it's going to be a little bit asymmetrical, I guess.
That's okay. I think that's interesting. That works. It'll be a lot easier to tell when I put the better texture in the roof. Yeah, I really don't know how to handle this section of the roof. That's the, that's the main issue. Does this place have a name? I'm just going with the pumpkin farm for now. Where is that coming from? There's the cave. Do I have some torches? I do. Built in. Oh, hello. Built in problems. We have a pest infestation. It's a decent sized cave. I have already been here, apparently. Cool. That should take care of that. Helpful creeper. Well, sort of. Sort of. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this uh, this roof. Because technically that would be the right slope. Maybe what needs to happen out here is this needs to change to be the other direction. That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense either.
a little bit bigger. I find sometimes that these things end up getting larger than I want them to be very early on. No, this is still part of Westell. Still part of Westell. I mean that sort of works. It's it's a it's a tricky roof shape. I've definitely given myself a a challenge here. Uh, Game Tiger, thanks very much. I like to think that I have a pretty... Nope. Uh, I like to think that I have a pretty chill stream. sworn that we had creeper damage turned to drop all of the blocks but I don't know that it did that then the tricky part becomes the gable on this side. Maybe these will have a gable as well. Not my favorite with the, the too wide window. I might want to change that. I guess what I should do here is knock this back. You will have to do some trimming to make it look all right. It's 
still, that just feels so big. Maybe this is the section that we have a higher wall than a roof. Oh, that does not look good. Not look good. What to do? The problem with slanting out farther, Grandpa Crafter, is that it just, it doesn't end up looking very good on this scale. Yeah, I've really given myself a challenge here with the, the offset. I mean, we could, we could make this a smaller room. Maybe the thing to do is to have another section of diorite to balance it out. But if I do that, then that room is only going to be tiny. Yeah, I can't do one wide. I mean, I guess I could knock this back. Feels less of a waste of space, but it didn't, then it just feels really tiny. Yeah, I guess I could do like an open floor plan, but then that just, that feels like there's no, really no rhyme or reason. I mean, I guess I could make the whole thing a lot smaller, right? Like we could have the bed in the corner here, right? So if this was the wall, we could just have the bed here. That would certainly make the house a lot smaller. But I'm not sure, like that to me feels a little odd.
Because again, you're just dealing with this really large space that doesn't make any sense. Blast, thanks for being here. Take her easy. Oops. I guess I could push this in a bit. That might work. This is not what I'm going to be using for the floor. I just need something visual to separate things out. Yeah, the, you know, one room might be an okay solution. It's just it's gone from a single wide uh, or an, an odd number build to an even number build. That would eliminate this stuff here. Obviously, we won't use yellow. It still feels open. Like, it still just feels really, really open, right? Like, even if I put the table farther out. And obviously, that's messed all that up. So I like what's going on over here. I think that's working pretty well.
But if that's the wall there... This would be diorite. But then why am I using logs back here, right? Maybe this should be dark oak. Matches the window. Yeah. So then that would overhang to there. And then we would just have to figure out what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or seven, I guess. Wait, does this? Yeah, that's the wall. So this would be diorite, probably. Or white, like whatever we decide. So this is just one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So what I want to do is have this actually go a step back. So one, two, three, four, five. There's the five to there. And that makes it a lot smaller. But still just feels like a weird waste of space. Maybe instead of a house for the owners, it's a farm or a workroom. That's fair. Whoops. Jumping on stuff. Awesome. Just what I didn't want to do. Pumpkins take a really long time to grow. Yeah, so the roof is out that way, but then we've shifted the inside.
So I guess the question is, why did I shift the inside? That just feels boring, but I think I can get rid of this. Yeah. So if I go to there, then I can do this underneath. And then I just have to figure out how to handle the roof, the roof shifting. Yeah, I feel like I've gone higher on one side and that's causing me some issues. So if that does that, then how do we transition in here? That's the same. I've not messed around with that. Right, it's because I made this taller. So Maybe the solution is to not have the roof drop over here. Maybe we'll just have it shift back. Have you ever taken a build to a point where it's really not working and started from scratch? Yes. I can't remember which one it was. There was certainly something inside the town that I, I moved around. Definitely something in there. Right, but this would move back by one. And I want that to happen on that block, okay. So this won't be a height difference. This will just be a shift in the uh, the roof. 
just a north to south change. But then, I guess that's going to lower this, I guess. I think I need to do the roof before I start adding in all the different fancy bits. That's not right. Well, it's gone from looking really interesting to really boring, which is not my favorite. Not my favorite outcome. The back looks okay. All right, that's better. All right, so then to find the window and just make these changes here. Oh, come on. Right, that's going to be tricky. So we'll have to figure out a way to work on that. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. I guess this would be like a solid brick. These would probably actually connect like that. Which looks really weird.
See, that just starts to become a lot more symmetrical and uninteresting to me. Finally done with the homework lurk. Hello, everyone, and good morning, Joel Duggan. Thanks very much, Mr. Gun. Good to see you. Yep, I think it might be time to take a break from this. I uh, My brain just needs to sort out what I'm doing. I know part of the problem is, of course, the diorite, not diorite, the um, granite texture. It makes it really hard to see the roof shape. Really, really difficult to see the roof shape. It's already getting a little bit bigger than what I wanted it to be. I need to have a little bit dark, more dark in the roof too. Yeah, these are too, too far out perhaps. Yeah, I really, really made a mess of this. I thought it was going to turn out okay. I think one thing that might be causing a problem is this second, second area here. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Um, at least I feel like I have a solid plan for the pathing and a solid plan for the pumpkin patches. So we'll, we'll sort that all out. In the meantime, I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft. Let me just refresh my stream to see who's live. I've got uh, Good Times with Scar is live. That's probably where we'll send you because uh, I don't see anybody else playing Minecraft. So that's where we will toss you along. If you would like to leave a follow here on the channel before you take off, that would be great. That means you'll get a notification when I go live again. You should follow on uh, Twitter and on Instagram though because that's the best way to know when I go live. You can also join the Discord if you've got a gift sub, a tier one or a prime gaming sub. And I tweet, or not tweet, I post in there when I go live as well. I should be back tomorrow, that's Sunday, at 1 o'clock Atlantic, that's UTC minus 4 hours. Back here, picking up where we left off, probably bashing my head against this pumpkin farm build. And uh, don't forget to check out the Spawn Chunks on Monday, that's at thespawnchunks.com or wherever you have your podcasts coming in from. Just search for the podcast by name. Uh, Johnny and I, Pixrefs and I, we do the news and editorial and all that, all stuff Minecraft every week and we're coming up on episode 300 so you're going to want to check that out it's going to be a fun special episode this week is 299 and then the monday following will be 300 uh that's gonna be it for me folks thanks ever so much for all of the support and the fun afternoon i will see you later bye for now